Hello, and thank you for joining us at EcoSmart Surface and Coating Technologies. Today, we're going to be coating and sealing a porcelain tile floor in a small kitchen using our ECT1170 floor coating. ECT1170 is a three-part sealer that dries to a brilliant shine that will last for years and protect your investment. ECT1170's hard surface resists abrasion, it's easy to clean, it won't stain, and it doesn't get slippery when wet. Now some of the items that you'll need to complete this application can be found right in your local Lowe's or Home Depot. They include a handheld pump sprayer, a regular mop and regular detergent to get the floor good and clean in advance, then a dust mop type head for, like for hardwood floors, and then Sureline deck pads we find are the best to use to spread the product out. Now this floor has already been thoroughly cleaned, but we're going to go ahead and spray it with a fine mist of alcohol and then use the dust mop head to wipe up any remaining residual dust that might be there, as well as soap residue from the initial cleaning. Now this is an important step and we definitely recommend you do not skip it. You can see he's using the handheld sprayer to apply the alcohol on a fine mist and now he's just wiping it up and getting up any of that remaining soap residue or any other dirt and particles that still remain. And he's doing that uh, with the, uh, the dust mop head. He'll do this all the way through. One other pre-application measure we suggest you take is to go ahead and tape off the baseboards and the lower part of the uh, walls so that you don't get any overspray on either of them. Now we've begun the application process here and we're going to do this in small sections. The reason for that is, is that we're going to use the uh, Sureline deck pad attached to a mop handle to go ahead and spread it out. So we don't want to go too far and too wide. Now that he's put a fine mist over one section, he's going to go ahead and take the applicator, the, Sure, the Sureline deck pad here, and spread the uh, ECT1170 out. Now he's only letting the weight of the deck pad itself do the work here. Doesn't, no need to apply any additional pressure. All you're trying to do is really release the surface tension so that ECT1170 can work on its own to spread out and set up and cure to a beautiful and glossy shine. Now that he's completed that section, he'll move on to the next section and he'll continue this process until he completes the floor. It's a fairly simple, fairly straightforward process that leads to a beautiful and long-lasting floor. When the product is wet, it does give off a little bit of an odor, but it is a low VOC product. And as soon as the product starts to cure, that odor goes away and it never returns. You'll notice he stays with that same straight up and straight back pattern. That's a good way to make sure you've covered everything. As you can see, we're bringing this application to a close. The gloss you see when it's wet here is about what it's going to look like when it's dry. And again, it's hard, it's abrasion resistant, it's slip resistant, it uh, can take stains, it will not allow mold, mildew, or, or uh, fungi of any sort to grow on it, and it will last for many, many years. Uh, we hope you'll give ECT1170 some consideration for your flooring projects and you also will uh, take a look at some of our other products, including our ECT1470 line, which is for outdoor tiles, hardscapes, pavers, and driveways. Thank you so much.